Gaming in Linux has become easier thanks to Valve and their work on Proton. For those that are not aware, Proton is a translation layer that enables games made for Windows to run in Linux. When you install Steam in Linux, by default you will have the options to enable compatibility mode by using the desired Proton version. Now we have many more versions of Proton, fort or built on top of Valve's version. CacheOS has its own version of Proton, called Proton CacheOS, that promises improvements over Valve's Proton. This version will be installed if you choose to install CacheOS Gaming Package. Today I'll put that to the test and see if it's worth to use any other Proton Fort version over Valve's one. Using Proton Plus I installed as well the following, Proton GE and Proton EM. I will not go into details about these forks, you can search online for more information regarding what improvements are added when using any of them over the default Proton version. The bottom line is that Proton GE, Proton EM and Proton Cache OS promises improvements and performance tweaks over Valve's version. To be honest, I never used Proton EM until these tests. I would say it is an interesting project and I think you should give it a shot. You will see later in the video why. For this comparison, I'm using Cache OS and a 1590 Founders Edition with all updates applied at the time of testing. I will be benchmarking only at 1440p, as I believe this is enough in order to see the performance difference between these forks and Proton Experimental. I chose to compare these forks to Proton Experimental as the others are built on top of it. First, let's start with Borderlands 4. I would say that there is minimal performance difference between all translation layers used, but Proton G was the most stuttery, if I can say that, at least in the beginning of the GPU warm-up. The one that surprised me was Proton EM. It felt the smoothest of all, closely followed by Proton Cache OS and Proton Experimental. Either way, the performance gap can be attributed to margin of error. Let's now move to a game where I enabled ray tracing. Ratchet and Clank. Again, the smoothest felt Proton EM, if I can say that, probably because this version was released later as opposed to Proton GE25 or Proton Cache OS. To be honest, all performed well with Proton GE taking the last spot, but you would be struggling to tell them apart. I tested another game as well, Total War ROM 2. In this game, there were no real differences between these translation layers, all felt and performed the same. Mafia The Old Country is an Unreal Engine 5 game, and surprisingly, Proton Cache OS performed the worst, but the gap between Proton EM and Proton Cache OS stands at 2.2 frames on average. To be honest, it made no difference when choosing one over the others. And this is the chart with all games tested. I didn't test many games, as I think this paints a clear picture. There is minimal performance improvements, if any, when choosing other forks over Proton Experimental. I was expecting Proton Cache OS to be a bit ahead, but as we can see in this chart, this is not the case. Here we can see the difference in percentage between Proton Experimental and the other forks. Proton EM seems to be the best, but it's not first in all games tested. I would say that either fork is good. And here we can see the overall winner. On average, Proton EM managed to deliver 0.4% more performance than Proton Experimental, while the other two lost to Proton Experimental. Now, when looking at the results, is there a need to choose one of the other versions over Proton Experimental? Well, while there is no performance difference, the other forks bring some improvements over Proton Experimental, such as better video playback, various wine patches, and so on. So, which one would I choose? I would go with Proton EM, at least on NVIDIA newer hardware. On my setup, it performed the best, if I may say that. On Cache OS, I was expecting to have the best experience using Proton Cache OS, but Proton EM felt at least equal. 
If you go with Proton EM, make sure to read the README of the Git project so that you know exactly which values to pass on Steam, that is, if you want to pass any. Of all versions of Proton tested on CacheOS, Proton G is the one I would skip, and this is based on the few games tested. I had a bit more stutters when using Proton G as opposed to the others, but nothing alarming. When it comes to AMD hardware, I'm not sure if these results apply to it. If on AMD hardware, I would look as well at TKJ Proton, as this one didn't seem to work on NVIDIA hardware, as I couldn't enable DLSS in games, but it felt smooth on this hardware as well. Maybe I should have done more research and see if I can enable DLSS using this fork, but that is for another video. And that's it for this video. If you found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up button below, consider subscribing to the channel and let me know in the comment section below which compatibility layer are you using for running games in Linux. Take care and I hope to see you all in the next one.